Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin wassalatu wassalamu ala asyrafil anbiya wal mursalin sayidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajmain. Alhamdulillah. Uh, we have come to the practice 1.2. After we have uh, watched the videos of the lesson 1.1 which mainly about isims, okay? Now we're going to start practicing the 1.1 practice 1.1 we did how to identify the isims whereby either is a, any word that begins with alif lam okay or it has a, a kasa at, at its last letter Ming bidi inja or that this last letter okay and uh, then uh, the tanbin uh, ha sidin there's a tanbin here meaning and isim and also its meaning its meaning is something you have to you have to go to you have to uh, if you are not so sure then you have to check with the x uh, pointing at the word and you will tell whether it's a verb or a noun right uh, otherwise, you can just identify it by using alif lam, by the kasra or the last letter and the tanwin, right? Okay. Now our practice is to identify the isims because they have genders, there is feminine or masculine, or they have numbers, singular, dual, or plural. Why is it important to know this uh, different uh, whether it's masculine or feminine in nature? Because in Arabic, uh, the the verb and the uh, Isim or the verb, the object and the subject must uh, must be uh, connected in the sense that if it's a if a if the doer is masculine, then the verb will be in the masculine form. If the doer if the verb is in the dual form, then the 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 doer the fine the subject must be in the dual form uh, and vice versa. If it's feminine, then the verb will be feminine form. So. That's how uh, you actually can actually connect between the words in a sentence. The idea of us learning Nahu, Nahu is for us to identify how are the words interrelated in a sentence so that you, you get the, the full meaning of the sentence word by word. Okay? Right. So we practice with this Al-Fala. Let's identify uh, Ishi Mesaya and uh, tell the difference between whether it's singular or whether it's masculine or feminine first, then plural or singular, right? Okay, let's go for the first ayat. Kul a'udhu bi rabbil falak. We have how many isims there? We have rabbi, one, and al-falaki. Rabbi because it's kasra on the last letter, and falaki have two reasons to be same because of the alif lam and the kasra on the last letter, kaf. So, Rabbi, by nature, you look at it, the spelling is a singular male. Because it's going to be plural, it will be Rabbuna, Waw Nun. That's where it seems to become plural. And if it's uh, feminine, you have a Tama Buta uh, at the end of the letter. So, there's no Tama Buta there. So, Rabbi, the word itself is Singular male. Same goes with al-falaki. Al-falaki is uh, singular uh, and as well as masculine. Okay, there's no ta uh, mabuta to show that it's feminine or a big ta uh, to show it's a plural feminine or a one at the end. Right? To show that it's plural. Okay, so same goes with shangri. Shangri will be another issue. Shangri will be singular masculine right and same goes with shangri ya ma is the it's not it's it's a ma but it's in, it's in something that is mabani it does not change so we don't call we don't we're not too worried about that okay khalaqa is a verb and shangri again we is same singular male ra shikin ra shikin is an isim because of the tanwin here ra shikin and it's actually is in fa'an Okay, and it's singular because there's no one at the end, and also masculine. Okay, Ida is a hara, Wakaba is a fel madi, so we don't discuss about that. So Shangri again here, Shangri will be singular male. Anna Fasati, this is interesting, Anna Fasati is Isham definitely, and it has a 
ta maftuha haya or the big ta they call it ta maftuha eh? ta maftuha and meaning that is plural female plural feminine and the possession so this is the uh, is uh, actually sometimes translated as uh, those women who who uh, who actually blow blow into the knots okay the knots that the knots on the on the rope okay this I will call the 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 witches okay and right uh an uqadi an uqadi will be the uh also is same because of here because the kasra and the dal is singular and is masculine women shahri sim shahri ha sidin sim goes with all sikin singular male and in the hasara is above right so those are how to identify with the singular or masculine of uh, masculine or feminine. Let's try again. We look at the uh, we look at the uh, al kafirun. Uh, okay, let's look at the al kafirun. Here we are see. Okay, right. Kul ya ayyuhal kafiruna. Okay, there's one isim here, alif lam, and he has a kafiruna, a one at the end. So these are plural so when you translate become the disbelievers the disbelievers because it's plural right and here la ambuduma tabudun there's no issue here only verbs next one wala antum okay let's look here we have uh wala antum abidu nama abud okay we have how many issues here Antum, which is a domain, so it's actually an isim, but uh, it's mabni, okay, so we don't have to worry about that. Abiduna, abiduna, okay, abiduna is definitely uh, an isim, if it's in fa'el, being plural, well known. So it's a plural masculine, right? Uh, we have ana, ana which means I. Okay, it's a pronoun. Definitely an issue, but we don't have to worry about that because it's Mabani. Then you have Abidun. Abidun and Abiduna. The Tadwin, no, no, when the Tadwin here is singular. This would be Abiduna, uh, the worshippers. Okay, Abid, Abid, Abdi, Ibadah. So being a, a doer of things and being the Isim file means the doer of worship, so worshippers. Well, here is Abidun, same format, this small alif and this big alif in terms of spelling is the same. Only that here do not have a wow noon. So Abidun is a uh, worship, a worship, a worshipper. These are worshippers, worship. So when you translate this and not we or you, eh? and you are not worshippers of what I worship. And I am not a worshipper of what you had worship, right? Okay, that's good. So, abidun singular, abiduna plural. Wala antum, abidu the same. Ma'abud lakum dinukum wali yadin. Yadini, this also yadin is one more issue here. Okay, so those are. Uh, to identify the singular or plural, uh, that's how you do it. Uh, okay, let's look at the one below here. Uh, right. Now the next exercise is for you, besides identifying the isim, you need to identify the dome. The dome, whether it's, uh, whether it's attached or is uh, separated from the word before it. Because, as you know, uh, when the words are attached, uh, the, the domain or the pronoun attached, will, the sum of the pronoun will change in form or in terms of it's being presented. Like uh, right here, at the last word here. Okay, this Rabbika. Rabbika. Fasabbi bihamdi Rabbika. Rabbika, your lot. Your lot. Ka actually stands for Anta. 
but it's like uh, or Antum is a hot bikum, right? Like, like here in the Al Kafun Antum, you if uh, singular be Anta, right? These are detached, detached from the word, the word before, it. so it's written in full, like here, not Bika. Rabbika is uh, anta, rabbi, you don't say rabbi anta, but you say rabbika, so anta become ka, so this is what you call, is attached to the, the same or the word before it, right? And like here, innahu, innahu, actually here, actually it's huwa, he, so when it's attached, the huwa becomes hu, right? Like, istar fin hu, this hu, actually is huwa, which she is referred to Allah eh, and seek forgiveness from Him. So this one is what attached. These are all attached. Only that is not written as attached to Ra because the letter Ha cannot be written as attached to Ra before it. Okay, right? So those are what I mean by attached and detached. Let's go work on the next letter here. Uh, then we have Rabbika. Rabbika. Okay. Inna Shani Aka, the same thing. Your Lord, in Nashi Anika, barely your enemies are the one who hates you. Okay, right? And this here, okay. Angra Aita, you can be in Angra Zalika. Aladi Nahum. See, see, this home is, this home is actually detached. Okay, Aladi Nahum. Mean them. But, Ansalat him. Ansalat him. Okay, this become him. Okay, one thing to take note is that home and him actually is, as we said, as we said before, that domain of pronouns above me. You don't change his spelling. But why is this he becomes him and talk home? Okay, in Arabic, uh, the, to facilitate speech, it will make it easy in terms of speech, the, then the spelling which I mean, uh, to make it easy to, to say it by the Arabs, uh, has a, a great influence on the spelling. In the sense, because uh, you want to say salat in whom it will be difficult. So God made it easy, Allah made it easy for the Arab, for us, in fact, to speak when it comes, when there's kasa before whom, they become sin, salat in. This doesn't mean that it's in, uh, he has changed his spelling, it's just because of two facetious speech, okay? Not because it's become ja, whom becomes him, no, okay? Just to take note of that. So, alazi nahum, okay, is a detached when salat in him is attached, okay? Uh, Allah didn't seem home, yeah. Well, I'm not on the mound, okay. The home there. Let's go one more, see whether we can find any more, okay. Uh, Ila Pihim, same goes, Ila Pihim, Ila Pihim, because of uh, the Kasa before that fee, okay. You have Ila Pu, the Ila Pu home, okay. Nah, let us think. Well, sorry for the ambudun of Bandal Bait, and then the up armahum, and that's it. At armahum. See? The up armahum, not at armahim. Okay? They are both the same in the form of their sim mudof. Mudof ilay. Okay? They are still attached. Okay? So, just to paste the spelling. Okay? Wa armahum. Okay? The same goes. Wa armahum. Alright? Okay, last before we. Stop this one. Alam ta ke fa fa alam rob buka. Sin rob buka. Rob buka. You're not. Alam ya ja al kaidahum. Kaidahum. Sin. Kaidahum. Wa asala alayhim. No, alayhim. So you see, difficult to say alayhum. By her, it should be alayhum. But it becomes alayhim. Okay. Tarmihim. Okay. And fa ja alayhum. Kaasbim. So, that's how uh, you identify the singular, the plural, the dual. Eh? The dual, not many uh, in, 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 in the Quran. Uh, we have one at Tabat Yada uh, where you have an alif there. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, the Tabat Yada. Tabat Yada, when the alif after it, they begin two hands. Okay. The alif that signifies dual, I uh, mean two. So, Tabbat Yada Abi Lahab in Watab. Uh, the two hands of Abi Lahab 
is destroyed. Okay, so that's why I say tabat yada. So this becomes two. Okay, there are not many examples of uh, two in in the Quran. The most important thing to identify is mainly singular and plural, where the nouns will have uh, for singular just have a tanwin. Okay, for plural you have a uh, wow nun. For feminine you have a ta maputa at the end for singular and it be a uh, the big ta or uh, ta maftuha uh, which is feminine plural, right? Okay, so. Alhamdulillah, inshallah we'll continue. Okay, one more thing before that, Fiji diha. Fiji diha, okay, this ha, formerly issue here. So when it's attached to the word before it becomes Fiji diha, it refers to a she. Okay, so inshallah, I uh, hope so this practice will make you more familiar with the lessons that you have watched and we shall be able to practice more in the training videos. Wa bilhatafu hidayah, wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.